So over the years, I've heard a lot of people say that they like to buy or build a PC, but they just don't ever pull the trigger because they don't feel completely comfortable with it. Maybe it's the price. Maybe it's that they don't feel like they have enough knowledge or, or know what pieces need to actually be placed into the PC to get everything working. So it can be a little bit intimidating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I bought my PC. I actually just ordered a brand new one last night. So I'm just going to go through the process again and basically build the same PC that I bought last night. So I'm going to show you how that works, but I'm also going to show you a good website if you want to go buy all the parts individually and piece it together for yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild the PC that I've got coming and this company is going to piece it together for me and ship it to me. So I'm going to show you the price difference between what I bought and then what it would be if I were to piece it all together and do it myself. Uh, some people are always assuming that you get really ripped off if you buy a pre-built PC and so that it's always a whole lot cheaper to just go out there and, and build it yourself. And that may be true in most cases, but I actually think that sometimes you can run up on deals where it's pretty damn hard to beat the price that you get. And I think I stumbled upon one of those deals yesterday. So you all can tell me, you know, whether I did a good job or not. Of course, building a PC has its own perks. You have, of course, pride putting it together, especially if it works whenever you're done with it. But I also think doing it like I'm about to show you also has a few perks in and of itself. So full disclosure, I have nothing to sell you. I'm not affiliated with this company in any way whatsoever. So even if you go there, you buy a PC, I don't get a penny from it. Um, so I used CyberPower PC and I know a lot of people are going to vomit at that because uh, it's not a company that gets rave reviews across the board. Some people really don't like the company. Um, the reason that I did this is because the machine that I currently have, I've had it for over four years and you know, knock on glass is the only thing in front of me. It has worked great. It's been a solid machine. Haven't had any issues with it. And so, you know, I was pleased with this purchase. So I decided to go ahead and give them another shot. Uh, again, anytime that you're a company and you're, you know, shipping out thousands of these systems, you're definitely going to have some problems out there. And the people who, with the problems are more likely to come and post about it on the internet. So that's another thing that I kind of keep in the back of my head. If you get something, you're not happy with it, you're going to be inclined to go post about it. Whereas if you're happy about it, like me, for instance, I never did go give them a positive review. I mean, I guess you could say this is sort of me saying a positive word about them a few years later. Uh, if I would have had an issue, it would have been totally different. But so far, you know, it was good. So I went back with them. I also like how they lay out their website as far as helping you make sure that you get all the parts that you need. And it's just a really nice layout. So they do have pre-built PCs that you can buy if you want to just run with one of their popular configurations. Uh, but I do like to customize. I like to choose the parts that are going into the machine, uh, and then they'll just put it together for me. So I started off looking at the pre-built machines, found this one, the VR Ready Deal GTX 1070. Uh, I do not plan on having a 1070. I plan on putting a 1080 in it. I'm just going to use this as a starting template. Uh, so this is just something to, to get started on. So... You'll see over to the right, you can see the summary. It tells you on average how many frames per second this particular build will get. Uh, and then if you scroll down, we can actually start editing and changing things. So first off, if you use this site, uh, CyberPower usually gives you a lot of free stuff. Take advantage of all the free stuff. Be sure that you check this stuff off. Uh, so they're giving away right now a uh, free Razer keyboard a free gaming headset, and a free mouse pad starting off. So I'll take all those. Next up are the cases. Now, I did like this case. Like, I think it looks really nice in the preview. But truth be told, my PC stays under my desk. The window where I can see into the PC is up against the wall, so I never see into it. So having a really fancy-looking, you know, case, it doesn't benefit me. I don't care about the looks of it. And so it's like, you know, a car. I, I just want something that gets me from point A to point B, gets it there reliably. So I decided to go with this X Centennial because uh, it knocked off $33 off the price. Saved a few bucks. I'll, you know, I can invest that somewhere else into the build. 
As far as designs go, again, I don't care nothing about it. Uh, last time I did build a PC four years ago, they were offering free engraving, so I got the Red Dragon put into it, but again, I never get to see it. Lighting, normally wouldn't care for it, but since they're offering a free LED strip, I'll go ahead and I'll take it. Fans just left that at uh, default settings, no sound absorption. Now into some of the really important items, the CPU. So I went with the i7-6700K uh, after doing some research. This still appears to be one of the best CPUs for gaming out there. Uh, they do have a 6800K and of course there's CPUs that are always, you know, right over the horizon that are about to come out. Uh, you got the AMD Zen that everybody's been talking about. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and go with the 6700K after, you know, reading some reviews, watching some videos. A lot of people said the upgrade to the 6800 just wasn't worth it as far as the, the price difference goes and the performance that you would get out of it. Uh, and so anyway, uh, this is a good time also to give a shout out to my buddy uh, Shadow Zach who I annoyed the hell out of because uh, I'm always getting good advice from him because uh, he's a lot more familiar with this type of stuff and he builds a lot of PCs. Uh, he recently just built one himself. So going on down, freebies again, take it all. So they're offering Black Death and a four game mystery bundle. So I'll take that. Uh, Warhammer and Rainbow Six. Take both of those. So I originally considered the performance tuning plan, but Zach actually talked me out of it. He said, you know, more than likely you're never going to take advantage of that. Um, and I'm not personally sure if I'm, I'm going to overclock or not. I never did do it with this PC that I've got right now. Uh, and if I do decide to do it, it's something that, you know, I could easily do with, you know, having Zach walk me through it, you know. So it's nothing that I needed to pay them for. As far as the cooler goes... I just left this as the default, which they had a liquid cooling unit in it. I was a little bit concerned because I've never used liquid cooling before, but the reviews that I saw on this one seemed like it was pretty good, and there was zero maintenance with it. Uh, it's a closed system. With some liquid coolers, I was reading where you got to add fluid occasionally to it, or sometimes you have to flush it and clean it out or add something to it. Um, I didn't want any part of that. Like If it was going to involve work after I got it, I didn't want it. So uh, I did look into this. Doesn't seem to be any maintenance to it. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and stick with that. Also, if I decided to overclock, I figured liquid cooling would be a little bit better. And also it would be quieter than another fan running on it. Uh, moving on to the motherboard. Whenever I actually built this last night, the uh, Z170 Pro Gaming was selected, so I'll go ahead and select that again. And again, I I mean, these prices change daily. So the, the prices that I got yesterday, I'm going back through and rebuilding that same PC that I bought. Some of these prices have changed already a little bit uh, because they were running a little bit better sales on Cyber Monday. It wasn't a huge uh, price difference, though. And again, this is why I, I like this site because it basically holds your hand through the process, make sure that you get all the parts that you need and that it's compatible uh, and should work right out of the box. As far as the memory, I went with the 16 gigabytes, 3000 megahertz. Um, RAM is something that's super easy to install. Even if you've never built a PC before, you don't feel comfortable opening up your PC. It's the one thing that I would say you really should have no worries about. So if I find some uh, more RAM down the road and it's on sale, it's something I can easily install myself. Next is the video card. So we're going to select the 1080. I went on ahead and selected the Turbo 1080. I, I, honestly, I don't know if there's that big of a difference between uh, the default and the Turbo, but it was just a few more dollars, so I went on ahead and got that. Because, um, I mean, the, the two components that I want to be sure that I don't cut a whole lot of corners on are the GPU and the CPU. And I guess you may have noticed down in the bottom left is telling us what our total is as we change items. Uh, as far as the bridge uh, or adapter goes, don't want any of that, no VR. Here's another freebie, Watch Dogs 2, if you get a 1070 or a 1080, which we did, so we'll add that. Uh, we don't get the Civilization because you only get Civilization if you bought an AMD card. 
As far as the power goes, uh, if you select something too low, I'll just show you this, you'll see a little warning down at the bottom, again, letting you know that this isn't going to be compatible with your system. Uh, so I ended up going with just an 800 watt, which leaves me uh, a little bit of headroom. SSD, uh, whenever I built this, they were offering a 256 gigabyte uh, M.2 SSD. Went on ahead and jumped on that. Uh, M.2 technology is supposed to be pretty fast. I already own a 2 terabyte SSD, so the memory and storage wasn't something that I was spending a whole lot of time or, or worried about because I'm going to take these hard drives and just put them into my new system whenever I get that. Um, so, uh, again, a hard drive is something that you can easily install yourself and you could probably get a lot better deals uh, shopping elsewhere. No PCI SSD. Uh, I just left it uh, at a regular two terabyte hard drive. That's what they were going to throw in there. So I'll take another one. I said no to an optical drive. I cannot remember the last time I used an optical drive. Pretty much everything now you download or you can install onto a thumb drive, uh, get somewhere else. So I just uh, said no to that. Uh, I leave my PC hardwired so I don't need a wireless card. Sound just left that at the default. Um, moving on to the second page for accessories, you may not need accessories. Uh, I really don't, but still look through everything here because, uh, again, they were offering a free mouse. So if they want to offer a free mouse, I'll go ahead and take it. Uh, and a lot of this stuff, as far as the accessories go, they seem way overpriced. So I would not build your whole system on this side. I would mainly just use this just for your PC. If you need to go buy monitors or routers and things like that, go to places like Amazon or Newegg or Tiger Direct, and you're probably going to find a whole lot better prices as far as that stuff is concerned. And then moving on to the last page, they're offering a Windows 10 $100 Windows Store gift card. So I'm going to take advantage of that. They're also offering McAfee for free. I think that's the one freebie I'm going to pass on because I don't like McAfee. Uh, there's plenty of other uh, antivirus out there, most of them free, that are really good. And then the only other thing that I got was I paid $10 more for a warranty with one year shipping. Hopefully I'll never need it, but it was only $10, so I figured what the heck. So if we go ahead and we add this to the cart, uh, today they were running a deal where if you typed in the promo code Encore, you got 5% off your order over $1,000. Uh, they were also running the same deal yesterday, so that cut off $85 on my total. It is free shipping, and thank goodness it is zero tax for Tennessee. So the total on this particular order today came out at uh, $1,614. That's not the full story, though. So hold on tight. We'll come back to this. Um, let's jump over to uh, this other website that's really good if you want to build your PC from scratch or if you want to basically compare the price that you know, CyberPower or anybody else is offering you. You can build it on this particular site, and again, it walks you through really easy, basically holding your hand, telling you what you need to select for your build in order to make everything work. And then it also finds the best prices out there from several different merchants. Uh, and then again, you can read the reviews. So it's a really fantastic site. This is one that I would definitely bookmark, uh, PC Part Picker. So what I did was I basically went through and built this same PC on this website using the exact same parts where I could. There were a couple of instances where I had to substitute something out. And usually I just picked one of the cheapest parts on the list. Uh, so for instance, they didn't have the cyber power case that I had selected. So I, I, I just picked one of the cheaper cases on the website. Uh, same thing with the hard drive and the CPU cooler. CPU cooler I did look up and so I picked up uh, something that was almost the same exact price. And the price of this build on PC Part Picker was $1,608. So very close to the price that CyberPower was telling me uh, that I would be paying for that same machine build today. But again, that's not the full story. So I don't think that's bad as far as the comparison goes. But here's the, the things that you have to consider. One, 
Full disclosure, again, I built my PC yesterday, so some of the prices had changed, like I mentioned uh, early on. It wasn't by a huge margin, but yesterday they were also offering a deal where you got a $50 American Express gift card that I got yesterday, which wasn't offered today, but all the other freebies that I showed you were offered yesterday. So when you consider that I got the free keyboard, headset, mouse pad, $50 American Express gift card, $100 Windows uh, gift card. You got free games. You got Warhammer, Watch Dogs 2, Black Death, a uh, four-game mystery bundle, and Rainbow Six. When you consider that I also had a melon rebate, I think it was like $10 on the CyberPower, had free shipping, no taxes. Taxes alone was going to end up running me around $150 if that would have been the case. Uh, plus, I don't have any of the headaches of piecing this thing together and just, you know, hoping that it works whenever I'm done with it. I also have peace of mind of a warranty. So whenever you consider all that, I think it's a pretty damn good deal. The system that I built that CyberPower is uh, building for me and is going to be delivering, the total amount of what I paid was $15.88. So it was like uh, $20 cheaper of what it was today for building the same machine. But again, you didn't get the uh, $50 American Express card. So it's a little bit better deal. And another thing to consider is if I would have used PC Part Picker to build this myself, uh, on top of the time that it would take for me to sit down and, you know, to actually build everything, uh, on top of that, paying shipping on a lot of those items, uh, paying tax on those items, I mean, maybe there's somebody out there who can take the same exact parts of what I got and build a cheaper PC. I'm not saying that it's not possible, but I think it would be pretty hard to beat what I got for the price that I got it for. And like I said, you know, CyberPower isn't the only uh, website out there that does this sort of thing. There's a lot of websites out there that do this. Feel free to list your favorite ones down below. Uh, this is just me showing you what I did, what I went with. And like I said, I was happy with my current build, so I went on ahead and decided to give them another shot. Now, it is going to take them a couple of weeks to get it here. So once it gets here, I'll do a you know unboxing for you. I'll show you what I got. I'll do like a, a little mini review of it. Um, and also, if you don't want to wait, like that, that sounds awful, having to wait two weeks for your PC to be delivered. Uh, Amazon was also running some decent sales uh, the other day. I almost went with one of their pre-configurations, uh, uh, but then I went over to CyberPower and saw all the freebies, all the things that were going on with that. So I ended up building my own. But if you want to go check out the ones on Amazon, I'll leave a link to that as well. And I'll leave a link to both of these websites that I also showed you in this video. And one more thing, I would just say if you're going to buy from a site like CyberPower, I would go sign up for their email listing. Uh, and I don't recommend that with many sites at all because I hate spam. But they do run several different sales every few weeks. And I would definitely wait for one of the sales before you jump on board and, you know, buy one of these. Because, I mean, this is a lot of money. This is a, a big investment. But, uh, I mean, you can cut down quite a bit if you find a good deal. And so they do usually take advantage of every holiday that comes out. And they offer a few deals in between. Uh, but I'm pretty excited about this. And, of course, I'm going to be using this one for work so you probably aren't going to need anything near what I built uh, for the vast majority of people. You don't need to spend anywhere near the amount that I did for a decent PC or a gaming machine. Uh, I wanted a newer PC uh, for faster rendering as far as my videos go and to be able to show you gameplay with maxed out settings because I'm always recording and, and showing you that type of stuff. And so I'm going to be, you know, marking this off as a business expense on my taxes. So this was a business investment for me. And so that's one more thing to consider out there. You don't have to go, you know, balls to the wall whenever you go buy one of these PCs. Uh, and this should last me for years. So hopefully, just like my current build has lasted me for years, hopefully this is going to last me even more. Uh, and I'm actually, because this machine that I'm on right now works so well, I'm going to give this one to Jessica whenever she gets here. So we'll both have a machine that we can work on. Uh, but I wouldn't always disregard the idea that you can't get a good deal on some of these websites or some of these pre-built PCs. And I'm definitely interested to hear your thoughts down below. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.